Hello everyone, I am Surendra Jain, Master Teacher in Vedantu. I am presenting you the solutions of JE Advanced 2019. This is question number 7 from paper 2. This question is uh, from the topic Maxima Minima and also it requires use of differentiation using Newton Leibniz formula for integral function. Let us first see what this question is. Let f r to r given by fx is equal to x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 5 define capital fx equal to 0 to x small ft dt x greater than 0 then which of the following options is r correct capital fx has local minimum at x is equal to 1 capital fx has local maximum at x is equal to 2 capital fx has two local maxima and one local minimum in 0 comma infinite and fx is not equal to 0 for all x belongs to 0 to 5 so let us see how to solve this question. First of all, as we all know, to find maxima and minima, we need differentiation of a function if it is differentiable. And because fx is like this, this capital fx has to be differentiable. So in this f dash x will be nothing but small fx by use of Newton Leibniz formula. So this will be x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 5. Now if we use wavy curve method, we mark 1, 2 and 5 here, then we can say on the right of 5 it will be positive. I am marking these signs for fx. So on right of 5 it will be positive, then negative between 2 and 5, then positive between 1 and 2 and then negative before 1. That means at 1 it should be minima at 2 it should be maxima at 5 it should be minima because sign change for minima to be from negative to positive for maxima it should be from positive to negative so if we go back to the options we can see fx has local minimum at x is equal to 1 which is absolutely correct fx has local maximum at x is equal to 2 this is also absolutely correct now coming to next one, fx has two local maxima and one local minima. In fact, it is opposite. It has two local minima and one local maxima. So C option is not correct. Okay. Now coming to D part, it says fx is not equal to 0 for all x belongs to 0 to 5. Now to understand the, this, let us make this graph once again. If I start with 0, <coughs> 1, 2 and 5. We saw this 1 was point of minima, 2 was point of maxima and 3 or this 5 was point of minima and the sign of derivative for capital fx were plus minus plus minus. So after 0 it will be going down decreasing function. At 1 it will be having point of minima then it will be increasing going up to 2 okay and then after having maxima at 2 it will be going down at 5 it will be having point of minima and then going up okay now we have to find whether between 0 to 5 5 is the point of minima does it have value equal to 0 or not and we have to find this in 0 comma 5 okay our fx function is 0 to x fx dx which means obviously f0 will be equal to 0 but we are looking from open interval 0 to 5. Now one very interesting and important thing here is that while going from 0 to 1 the function is going down. So if at 0 it is 0 it will be having value lesser than 0 from 0 to 1. After 1 it will start increasing okay and it will have maximum value at 2. Now if we are able to find what is the value of f2 then we may be able to predict that whether it will become equal to 0 or not. If f of 2 is positive then definitely because before it was negative it will become 0 at some time but if f2 is also negative then this entire graph from 0 to 5 will be less than 0 so it will not become 0 at any value of x from 0 to 5. So to find f2 let us find this integral 0 to 2 fx was x minus 1, x minus 2 and x minus 5. 
okay we cannot comment without actually solving this integral and to solve this integral it looks like very lengthy integration but it can be made shorter if you put x minus 1 as t because then it this limit integral will have will have limits minus 1 to 1 x minus 1 will be t x minus 2 will be t minus 1 and x minus 5 will be t minus 4 dt okay why i have done like this please understand now i can write this as from minus 1 to 1 and this will be t cube okay plus 4t one part and minus 5 t square another part why i have written them like this you can see this first bracket represent odd function so for limit from minus 1 to 1 this integral will be directly 0 okay whereas second one is even function so we can write 0 plus 2 times 0 to 1 minus 5 t square dt now this minus 5 t square is positive value and we are integrating from 0 to 1 so this integral has to be negative we are not finding this value but we are directly saying that it will be negative which means as i was saying that from 0 to 1 it was already ne negative 1 to 2 also it will be negative and after 2 it will again start decreasing so up to 5 it will be again negative only so i can now say that this fx not small f it is actually capital f which will not be equal to this will not be equal to 0 for any x that belongs to 0 comma 5 i think this is what they are asking let us again read that option so fx is not equal to 0 for all x belongs to 0 to 5 so d is also correct option okay so this completes my solution of this question i hope you like this solution thank you so much stay tuned for next questions bye